Welcome. This will be a very quick overview of the Enterprise Addressing System, or EAS, being written by the City of San Francisco. It's a system for managing the city's master database of addresses and uh, their relationships to assessors' parcels. It's going into production in early 2011, and the code will be open sourced, and we're hoping that other cities will find it useful. It's a web application. You start by signing in in your browser. Once you're in, you can submit change requests, for example, add an address or add a unit, add an address. Um, if you have the correct permissions, you can review change requests. Uh, the user I'm logged in as happens to have both permissions, and we will see both uh, actions in this tour. We can look up uh, by address or by assessor's parcel number, or APN. Here, let's do it by address, 832 Dolores Street. As you can see, the system completes the address based on what you've typed so far. In this case, there's one match, uh, 832 Dolores Street. It has four units, apartments one through four. Let's go there. In the right-hand side, this is a fully functional browser map. You can drag it around. You can zoom in and out. These faint rectangles here are the assessor's parcels, and the address is pinpointed, and other known addresses are highlighted on the map, 826 Dolores, 824 Dolores, etc. Over here is a summary of the uh, record. We can retire the, uh, the address or we can edit it. In this case we're going to edit it. Let's say we'll add an apartment. Right now there are one through four. Go to the green plus sign, add a unit, unit type apartment. Let's say it's on the second floor. Call it number five proposed status provisional, and a comment adding an apartment, very imaginative comment, submit for review. Now because I'm logged in as also a reviewer, let's go to review change requests, there's the request, highlight it, click review. You can see right here that it says that unit number five is new. Highlight it, accept for review, and uh, add a comment. We're going to approve this. Agree, it's a new apartment. Click approve, and it's done. Now this address reviews over here, I'm going to hide this window. Uh, this shows the results of a nightly data load into the system. Basically if a street or parcel is retired, that address will need to be retired or the associated addresses with that parcel will need to be retired. And that list shows up here. The reason you're not seeing any addresses is because the map is zoomed all the way in and this right hand side will only show addresses that are uh, in the current viewable area in the map. So if we zoom out a little bit, let's go this far, uh, you can see 284 Liberty Street has one item and there are a lot of other addresses around here. If we go out further we'll see even more. When we click on one, there's a black dot that highlights, see that again, we'll, uh, let's zoom in one level. Each time it, it flashes again to show you where the address is. I won't show you the process of actually retiring or editing. Um, there's a lot of functionality in this system and this is just a quick overview. Uh, if you'd like to learn more, please go to civiccommons.com uh, or shoot me an email We'd be happy to answer questions or uh, put you on a mailing list for news about when the system is open sourced. We're hoping to have a lot of cities using it and participating in its development. Thanks.